am most proud of working my way from the pre-show of WrestleMania to being this year's main event. Here I am, and I'm not moving for anyone. WrestleMania 35 main event. Becky Lynch walked out as Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion, defeating Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair in a triple threat match. It was a seismic shift in the world of professional wrestling. For the first time in WrestleMania's storied history, the spotlight shone brightly on the women as they headlined the grandest stage of them all. It changed the landscape of women's wrestling forever, and this all happened because of the popularity of Becky Lynch. But how did it get to this point? Let's explore the meteoric rise of Becky Lynch in WWE and the impact she had on the world of women's wrestling. Becky made her main roster debut in 2015 along with her close friends Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks and their arrival was dubbed as the Women's Revolution. This turned out to be true as the three wrestlers gave some amazing matches that weren't seen in WWE since the times of Lita and Trish Stratus. They were also involved in a three-way match at WrestleMania 32 where Charlotte won the inaugural Women's Championship. This was the best match of the night in the eyes of some, and this was just a preview of what was going to come. WWE made Charlotte the face of the women's division around this time, and Sasha Banks emerged as her adversary. Becky Lynch was just the third most popular among them, becoming an underdog. But this was 2016, and her eventual ascent to the top was still two years away. WWE had a brand split around this time, and Becky was sent to SmackDown, which turned out to be a great place for the Irish last kicker. Charlotte and Sasha were drafted to Raw with the Women's Championship, which soon became the Raw Women's Championship because of the brand split. Flair and Banks fought tooth and nail for the title under the red brand, while SmackDown was without a title. A new champion was determined in a six-pack challenge, and guess who turned out to be the first SmackDown Women's Champion? Yeah, you guessed it, it was Becky Lynch. This was a huge moment for Lynch as she clinched the title for the first time in her career. However, it still felt as if she had yet to claim the mantle of the company's top women's wrestler. It was still Charlotte's division. It isn't like Becky wasn't booked properly, but something was missing in the character. Fans loved her, but they didn't seem to connect with the happy-go-lucky Becky Lynch, and soon she dropped the title to Alexa Bliss. She once again became the underdog, hunting for the top prize. In the meantime, WWE WWE booked her in numerous feuds with Carmella and Natalya. For the next year or so, Becky remained on SmackDown and didn't do anything substantial. It wasn't until 2018 that she started getting some fan support for a push. She was still the same old happy-go-lucky Becky Lynch, but fans wanted to see her succeed. They wanted to see her in a prominent role. Carmella was the SmackDown Women's Champion in 2018, and Becky was in the best position to dethrone her and become the champ once again. However, WWE threw their golden girl Charlotte Flair into the mix. Charlotte was already a multi-time women's champion around this time, and fans started to boo her for getting the Roman Reigns treatment. They completely rejected the idea of the queen being on top while Becky struggled. At SummerSlam 2018, a triple threat match was set for the SmackDown Women's Championship between Carmella, Charlotte, and Becky, and fans wanted their fan favorite Becky Lynch to walk out as champion. However, Charlotte won the championship yet again and got booed out of the arena. What happened next is probably the best thing WWE could have done. Although in retrospect, it may have seemed like a misstep, but this decision proved beneficial for WWE in the grand scheme of things. They turned Becky heel. As her good friend Charlotte won the title, Becky stepped forward seemingly to embrace her, and then she delivered a sudden slap, catching Charlotte off guard and proceeded to unleash a brutal attack on the Queen. WWE probably thought this would give Becky a lot of heat, but to their surprise, fans erupted in even louder cheers as she unleashed a relentless beatdown on Charlotte. WWE wanted Becky to be the heel, but the cheers got even louder and louder, and the more ruthless she became, the deeper fans' affection grew for her. WWE had no option but to give her the SmackDown Women's Championship. She gave one of the best women's matches in WWE with Charlotte at Evolution 2018 in a last woman standing match. It was the all-woman's pay-per-view, and despite not being the main event, Becky and Charlotte stole the show. Becky was now a top women's star in WWE, and one of the most important things that played a role in her rise to prominence was her exceptional promo skills. 
Lynch began calling herself the man, implying that she was second to none, and it gave depth to her character. Her ability to command the microphone and captivate audiences with her words set her apart from her peers and elevated her to a league of her own. Her authenticity and her promos were infused with a sense of passion and conviction, resonating with the audience. In November of 2018, WWE began its brand supremacy with Raw vs SmackDown for Survivor Series. Ronda Rousey was the Raw Women's Champion at the time. Talking about the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda made her WWE debut at Royal Rumble 2018 and dominated the women's division ever since. She was involved in an entertaining mixed tag team match teaming up with Kurt Angle against Triple H and Stephanie McMahon at WrestleMania 34. It was one hell of a match and Ronda proved in her first match in WWE that she could be a huge star. And it was probably because of her that WWE decided to involve women in the main event of WrestleMania 35. We'll get to this part later, but for now, back to Becky. With the entire SmackDown roster, Becky marched into the Raw women's locker room and gave a brutal beatdown to Ronda Rousey. Yeah, Ronda Rousey, the woman who dominated the UFC, was getting thrashed by Becky Lynch. The night wasn't over as Ronda, accompanied by the Raw roster, called Becky out into the ring to fight and Becky came out with a huge pop. She proceeded to fight the Raw roster, but in the process, she got injured. Nia Jax, a member of the Raw roster, accidentally broke her nose. However, this wasn't it for Becky as she didn't back down. She continued to fight with blood pouring all over the ring. She walked out with a broken nose, looking like an absolute badass, and this was the moment Becky Lynch transitioned to the next level. Fan support went off the roof and the reactions became even louder for her. A match was set at Survivor Series between Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey and SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch. However, due to Becky's unforeseen injury, the highly anticipated match had been canceled. In a decision that left many fans disappointed, Becky handpicked Charlotte as a replacement to face Ronda at the pay-per-view. This substitution steered discontent among fans who felt Charlotte's inclusion overshadowed Becky's rightful place in the spotlight. However, this time, it was because of an unfortunate situation. WWE began showcasing Becky as the underdog, but this time, she was not the happy go lucky Becky Lynch. This time, she was more ruthless. Fans were clamoring for her to face Ronda Rousey, who was the biggest name in women's wrestling at the time. And despite being on different shows, they began a war with Ronda, costing Becky the SmackDown Women's Championship. In the meantime, Charlotte was also having her own issues with Ronda. Actually, this was the match WWE wanted to do in the main event of WrestleMania 35, but Becky's sudden popularity changed everything. With no title around her waist, Becky began chasing for the gold again, but now she wanted Ronda's title. At Women's Royal Rumble 2019, Becky wasn't even in the match, but she got a spot due to Lana injuring herself on the ramp. Becky went on to win the entire thing, earning her title shot at WrestleMania. The next night on Raw, she showed up with a crowd behind her and challenged Rousey for the Raw Women's Championship. However, WWE booked one of the weirdest angles, with Charlotte replacing Becky and taking her main event spot. This was because Becky wasn't clear to compete in the storyline, and WWE wanted her to see doctors, but she refused. This resonated with the fans even more, as it reminded them of a certain Texas rattlesnake who was known for his reckless and single-minded determination to dominate. She did get her spot back, but Charlotte was also added to the main event, which made no sense, but the match did have a great buildup. Heading into WrestleMania 35, Charlotte won the SmackDown Women's Championship, making their WrestleMania match even bigger, with the winner winning both Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships. They were involved in a chaotic segment where all three wrestlers, Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda, walked out of Raw in handcuffs. It was one of the most entertaining segments in Monday Night Raw history. You should watch it if you haven't. At WrestleMania 35, Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda made history as they main evented the show. This was a huge deal as they got this slot over Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar and Kofi Kingston winning the WWE Championship. It was a huge moment. This did happen because of Ronda Rousey's mainstream appeal, but Becky's popularity took it to a whole new level. The match was 
wasn't that memorable and it ended in a botch, but it gave women the spot they deserved. Becky walked out with both titles, becoming Becky Two Belts. The significance of this historic event reverberated far beyond the confines of the wrestling ring. Becky Lynch's trailblazing path to the top didn't just pave the way for her own success, it also created opportunities for rising stars like Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley to make their mark in women's wrestling. Without a doubt, Lynch's immense popularity and groundbreaking achievements reshaped the landscape of women's wrestling, setting a new standard of excellence and opening doors that long had been closed to female performers. It's safe to say that without Becky Lynch's influences, the trajectory of women's wrestling would be vastly different today.